Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. In this video we're going to be looking at post hoc tests for one way between ANOVA. Now the example I've got here is um, we have we're trying to see the effect of three types of drinks on the time taken to perform a task. So the DV here is time to res to perform a task and the drinks is one of three and it's a between ANOVA because each participant is given only experiences only one level so only has one of the drinks before they attempt the task. Now in a previous uh, video we showed how to interpret this output but we'll just run over it again quickly Homogeneity variances, it passes that. Okay, that's one of the assumptions, conditions required. So we go to the ANOVA, and the F test here tests the null of no difference in means across the three groups, and it's rejected. So there is a mean, there is a significant difference in the mean times across the three groups. And the mean plot here shows us that the people who take drink one and drink three take on average shorter time to complete the task than people in drink two. Okay? But this is only a plot, it's not a formal test, so now comes the test to see where the differences lie. Is it between drinks one and two, one and three, or two and three? So we do all the possible comparisons, pairwise comparisons. Now the two types of tests, post hoc which are not planned and not test planned prior to the experiment and a priori which are planned. We're looking at here at post hoc tests. So analyze, compare means, one way and over. We click on the box post hoc. Now you'll see there are loads and loads of options here. Uh, they're split into two groups. The one where equal variances are assumed Either the homogeneity variance is satisfied, which in our case it, it is, or if the equal variances are not assumed, i.e. the condition was not satisfied. Now, we're under here then, and there are loads and loads, but the most popular ones, and there are pros and cons for each one, which I'm not going to go through here, just to say that the most popular ones, Bonfro and the LSD, and maybe Tukey here, maybe Sheffer there. But let's just do these three and you'll and we'll see if there's any differences in the results. So all these tests here are to compare all the possible differences in the means between the groups. So since we've got three groups, it's going to compare one and two with one and one and two and compare one and three and compare two and three. So all the three possibilities. Okay, so here we come, post hoc tests, multiple comparisons. And since we asked for three types of tests, this block here does two key HSD, this block here does LSD, this block here down does Bonferroni. Now let's just read the two key HSD because the other ones will be similar. This here, drink and drink label I and J. Okay, so here drink one is I, drink two is label J. Mean difference here in brackets I minus J is looking at the mean difference of taking drink one minus the mean minus sorry. Mean difference I minus J here is saying the mean time taken after drinking one, drink one, minus mean time by taking drink two. It's a negative number so that means you are quicker, your mean risk, mean time to complete the task is quicker than drinking one, type drink one, that's a minus sign. Okay, we'll go over to the significance level here. It doesn't actually put significance level here. Is the, signi if, is the difference significant from zero? Yes, according to this 2KHSD because the p-value is less than 0 0.05 and we're using the rule p is low, null must go. 
drink one, similar drink one and three, that difference is minus 0.06 approximately. Is it significant? No, because the p-value is 0 0.989, it exceeds 0 .00, 0, sorry, 0 0.05, so we do not reject the null. So it says in the picture, we do not reject the null. So going, just going back to the picture. So we've just seen that there's significant difference between the times from drink one and two. No difference between one and three, where the means are very close. Hope you get the idea. Similarly, we can do, do two and one, but that's just opposite of one minus two. So you can see the si the the magnitude is the same, just the opposite way round, plus instead of a minus. Uh, significance, of course, it's going to be significant. So we'd have to read all of them. The only one we haven't done is two and three. So this is where we now compare them. Difference between two and three is plus two. So it's taking it saying that you the mean time it takes longer to complete the task in drink two compared to drink three. Significant? Yes. Okay, so we found then three possible combinations, one and two, there is a difference. One and three, there is no difference. Two and three, significant difference. All right. And just look at LSD. It's, you can see same results. You reach the same conclusion. Bonferroni, you reach the same conclusion. All right, so if we look at the output, just out of interest, is there any difference in this uh, output? Well, the figures are for the mean difference between the three tests. Well, the mean difference is, if you look at it, say 1 and 2, minus 2.11, drink LSD, drinks 1, 1 minus 2.1, they're all the same figures. Because the main difference is calculated, doesn't depend on the type of test you're doing. The standard errors, well, if you look at the standard errors, they're all exactly the same numbers, because they don't depend on the test type of test you're doing, which version of the test. Significance level, yes, this is where they can change. So for drinks 1 and 3, 2 KHSD is 0.989. LSD, not confused with uh, um, the drug. This is p value is different, Bonferroni is different. So this significance level is obtained using critical values from a certain table and this just tells that the difference between these things is the in the um, in the critical values for these um, tests. Now finally it's worth commenting that instead of look, looking at the significance level here we could also have looked at the confidence interval, the 95% confidence interval tells us the same thing. Difference between 1 and 2 for 95% confidence interval, lower and upper are at their values, but more importantly, we notice they're both the same sign, both negative. Zero is not in the interval. That tells us 95% confident that the true difference in means lies is a negative number, which is to say that it takes shorter time to complete the task after drinking drink one compared to drink two. Okay, so that is uh, that's how you deal with um, pairwise comparisons when we are doing ANOVA with uh, three or more groups. We do this rather than using individual t-tests for reasons which I we don't go into here. Alright, so hope that's been helpful.